God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch and we're going to take another journey today. Um, it's going to be to Bayfield, Wisconsin, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Um, you're watching Painting Journeys, and as you know, this, the, in this program, I journey across the canvas and take you to different destinations. Well, in our last episode, I had taken you to, um, old, to see Old Faithful, okay? And here is the completed painting of Old Faithful. It was completed almost entirely on the show. When I took it to my home studio, the only thing I had to adjust a little bit was the width of how uh, of the steam coming out of the geyser at the time. But really, it's very much very similar. Uh, little has been done to it. I was able to call that finished when I took it with me, of which was a really good thing. Now, um, I hope you like it. Today, we're going to go to the northwestern edge of Wisconsin, to Bayfield, Wisconsin. It's right on Lake Superior. In Bayfield, in the fall, they have their annual Apple Festival. And it's really something. I mean, there's orchards all over and thousands of people come. But I was fortunate enough to be there uh, last fall, just before all of the other people got there for the festival. I was there just before the festival. And we had some adventures, but I'm going to tell you about those later. I want to tell you about this restaurant right now. This is a restaurant that I'm going to be painting. And of course, it's fall. In Wisconsin, the colors, especially in northern Wisconsin, they start turning very early, in, sometimes in the middle of September. And so this was, oh, I don't know, must have been in, oh, maybe first week of October or something. But the colors were already just gorgeous. And my husband and I, we, uh, we were there together on a little mini vacation, and he took me to this restaurant, and it's one of the oldest restaurants that has been a restaurant in existence for since the 1940s, I think, or 30s, maybe. And you go inside, and there's all these photographs of these different movie stars, Humphrey Bogart and, and Lauren Bacall and Dean Martin, and they're all signed photographs. And you can tell they're really old because they're starting to turn yellow and wrinkle and everything. It's really something. It's, 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 the restaurant is quite entertaining and uh, just, just to be there and, and look at all the memorabilia. So this is what we're going to be painting today. I'm going to take you to Bayfield. So I better just get busy right now and start blocking this in. I think I'll first of all, I'll get my, uh, the restaurant established. And um, it's a, the shadows were very strong that day. So I'm seeing the restaurant as being um, right about in here. and coming over to right about here. Now I'm not using the color that that it is because that's not important. I just want to get something blocked in here for you so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Alrighty, and then we'll block in a couple of windows there. Today, you have the fun of seeing me struggle from the start 
the absolute start of it. I don't have any drawing on here. And so this is when it can be a little, you know, it's a little if and touch and go situation. Like I always tell you, 50% chance of a mess or a masterpiece. Um, let me see, we've got a nice big window right about here. And another one is over here, but we can hardly see it. About the same, and then right underneath here is, um, that was the entrance way, and it was a little bit wider. And underneath here is another window. And right here, same on the other side. It looks tiny, but it was actually rather uh, a, a rather large place. Um, and I see now that this actually comes over here and comes down. And it's there. It's really that big. So we'll just have to take some paper towel and see if we can scrub some of this out, this first line doesn't really matter because when we put paint on it, we're going to get rid of it anyway. So that's okay. Now then we have this gorgeous red tree right here in the center. So I just want to, I'm just going to block in the, the, um, the trunk of the tree because it's coming right up alongside where the house is. Now I don't want this to be in the center of the canvas because that wouldn't be very good composition. I'm going to tell you more about my my journey and our adventures there a little later on. Right now I'm trying to concentrate really hard on getting this my placement proper um, on my canvas, my drawing. So there's branches that come across. Nope, not that far low. Okay, they're up here more. All right, so, so I don't have very much paint. This is almost like a um, scumbling technique. I'm kind of scumbling in the painting. Now we have more trees over in here, and we have a couple of trees here that are kind of interesting. We have, this is coming around here and then it comes around this tree here and it comes back this way and so see you see I'm right now I'm looking for the shapes uh, the basic shapes the big shapes and then I want to put in the little shapes later find the shapes within the shape so right now we have this double tree right about here, and it's back there, and then there's another one coming up right about in here. And that's going like that and coming on up in there. Now before I go too far with this, I'm gonna to have to put the sky in, what's behind there. Actually, over here, there's a street and there's more houses. I don't really want to put, well, I don't think I want to put those in. There's that gorgeous tree back there, right here. This one here I'm talking about, see that? Yeah, I wanna put that in there. So maybe I will have that one little cottage sitting in front of it there. These little cottages were so cute. You know, it's, I envy people that have these little cottages up north and they can just go to little special places like this and stay and and um, maybe just maybe just come for the for the apple harvest and make a little money and take the rest of the year off wouldn't that be lovely okay and i think there's another house over here that we just might suggest there we go okay now, I'm not going to put the cars in. I, I do not like to see cars in paintings. Um, I, I don't know. I don't put in telephone poles or telephone wires. Um, 
either. I just, I don't like that. I like things to look like, like they're there without the, the cars and things that show that people are all over. I don't know. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. And there's a big, long, dark shadow right here. Let's just go ahead and block that in so that we have that shape and we don't lose it. And there's a big, long, dark shadow over here. Like I said, not having much paint on your, on your brush. This is called scumbling. It's just trying to get something laid down, some sort of a pattern so that you have a, a little idea of where you're going, what you're doing. And then, okay, now I'm gonna come back behind. I see all of this is tree right in here, so I only need to worry about sky in this little area here, and sky in here, and then sky all in here. And then the trees are gonna go on top. So now we'll mix up some sky paint. And, um, the painting is, the, the dominant color of this painting is red, and the complement of the red would be the greens that we see. And that's why it's really a very perfect um, subject matter, because so much of this is already in the photograph, it's already figured out for you. Um, you know, and how the, the red restaurant, the sun, where it's hitting on the restaurant right here, it just glows. So this area right in here is where my focal area is going to be because that's where the lightest light is meeting the darkest dark. Um, we'll add a little more drama in some of the other places, but this is, this is a very exciting area to me, as well as the tree, of course. Now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make the sky a blue, blue sky. I'm going to uh, make it a little, um, have it be a little more greenish blue. I think that that would be, because of our dominant hue being red and our complement being green, I think a bluish green sky would be appropriate. You know, just because the sky looks blue in the, in the photograph, that does not mean that that's what we have to do. As the artist, we have the license to put in what we want, how we want it to be. Okay, I think I'm coming up with something I, I like here. I'm just using my regular wooden palette with my limited palette colors, um, my reds, my warm colors, my white, and my cool colors, keeping it simple. That's the most enjoyable way. Keep it simple. Okay, now let's see. I think, no, I think that needs a little more white in it, right in here. I'm sorry that it takes so long to mix the colors, but I don't want to have them pre-mixed because as an a la prima painter, meaning that I paint all at once, wet into wet, I, I don't like to have my colors all mixed up beforehand. I like to just be able to mix them as I see them because I'm constantly making decisions right on the spot and I may, I may change my mind. And so I'm gonna have this blue in here. Now I think that's too dark, I'm gonna lighten it. 
I want this to be really, really light down here. As we all know, at the horizon level, the sky is lighter. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to make this a little, little bit lighter. There we go. And then that's going to come up in there, and it's going to keep getting going up. And I'm gonna, I see a little bit in here, and I'm just going to kind of poke it in where I see it here in a few places. That doesn't mean that um, it's going to... That's a little bluer now. Okay, now we're going to just scumble this sky in. And if I have to wipe out, I'll just wipe out where I want the tree to go on top. Okay, and you see how that's getting a little bluer, a little darker as we go to the top of the uh, canvas? Okay, and dark over in here. Okay, let's... Now this way, this shows us a, a sky that is variegated and it's light towards the bottom and darker towards the top. And that's the way it should be. The, while we were up there, the weather was just gorgeous. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. And we would walk each day for miles. It's a beautiful, beautiful little town. Um, I, I think maybe, I'm not sure, you could look it up on the internet, but I'm sure there probably aren't more than about 1,500 permanent residents there. But it's a very, very nice little town. And they, this is where you go if you want to go to see the Apostle Islands. Now, I'm happy with my sky. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to have to wipe out now where I want some of these red trees to be here. So that's going to, I'm going to be wiping out here because I want this red of this tree coming down through here. Not everywhere, just a little bit in through here. And coming out over here. Okay, and then there's some wipe out here. And then we have this right in here that's still kind of light. This red tree that's coming, it's coming in here, and then it's coming up there, and this is coming down just a little bit. Okay. And there's a little bit here. Okay. Now I think I'm going to get the dark greens in. Anyway, as I was telling you, you can um, rent this tour boat, and it takes you out into Lake Superior, and it takes you all around the Apostle Islands. And the islands, I mean, it's a day-long tour. And believe me, the water is cold, and the wind is cold, you know. But you're really quite comfortable if you want to stay inside the boat. Um, we, in, in this tour going around the Apostle Islands, it showed how there was caves in, um, that, were, that went back into the sides of the islands. And I guess there are some hardy young people that actually kayak um, back 
around the islands and go back into those caves. I don't, I wouldn't be that brave myself, but it, it, some people do it. And the caves are all different shapes and, and they have the, um, I think they're called stalactites and stalagmites, these conical things coming down and some going up and you, the boat took us over close by so we could see. So that was really interesting. Um, massing in this dark where I want it here. And I'm gonna put a little dark on this side too. Kind of balance that out right in here. And there we go. Okay, now I think I'll go ahead and start on the little houses. So that was that was really a lovely thing to do, is take the um, the ferry or the um, tour boat and tour. Um, they had a book. I was absolutely enchanted with the captain of the tour boat. Absolutely enchanted with it. He was so handsome, and they were selling these books about the Apostle Islands, and so I bought one, and I chased the captain down, and I said, would you please autograph <laughs> my book? And he very graciously did, but then I looked up and I saw the rest of the crew on the boat and they were all laughing. So I don't know, I guess I felt a little silly afterwards, but that was okay. That was what I wanted, you know, so that was okay to do that. What the heck? I didn't hurt anybody. There was tunnels that we walked around and through, beautiful tunnels and um, I remember one day we were walking on this one trail and these two boys came out from underneath this culvert and they kind of scared us. We were on a very narrow bridge crossing it and these boys came up and I don't know, we, we just kind of scared us, you know. We didn't know if they were going to try to mug us or what, but not that it, not, don't misunderstand me, not that it's that type of place. It just, it was just a, a scary thing, you know. The boys had obviously been down underneath the, um, that big um, culvert or something, you know, either smoking or hopefully not worse. And uh, they came staggering up and, so anyway, that was a mini adventure. Okay, now we're gonna put this tree in here. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. Very pretty tree. It's coming through here a little bit too. I think I'll use a little bit of this. Yeah. A little bit of the brown matter. Now, I think this is supposed to be coming out here, Kitty, because this is over this cottage. You better look again, girl. Look a little more carefully here. This tree is coming out here. There's green on it. Yeah, I didn't wipe out enough. Okay, this is coming up here. There we go. And we're gonna have the, the um, green on top of it. We'll come back to that later. Let's get the house in, the restaurant. Um, I'll 
Okay. That's the dark side. The green leaves are coming over the rest of it. And this is going to be a little bit lighter here on this side. is coming down like this. You know, I always want to, when I go to a place like this, I always dream about, you know, being able to take my easel and along and, and paint. I never do, though, because a person does have to have a vacation once in a while. That's most important. Vacations are good for you. Everything about this restaurant was so old, and I don't know, we almost didn't go in there until somebody said the food is absolutely delightful. So we went. Picking up some greens here. There, that's what I want. Okay, and that part of it is dark. All right. Make this a little darker here over in here. And then we've got the sky up here and kind of hard to see. Looks like there's a tree there. Right over in here. Yeah, there is a tree coming up right in there. So we'll go ahead and, and put that on. And I better get a different brush here. Let's see. I'll go for this one. I think I'm going to make that really light, bright red that I see first. They had all sorts of things going on as far as hay rides and all these farms, uh, apple, apple orchards, you know, and they'd have these barns uh, and you could tour them and they'd have fresh apple pies um, that you could purchase or apple, homemade apple butter, you know, and it was really a, a lot of fun as far as that was concerned. And, at our bed and breakfast every morning, they um, either the gentleman or his wife would fix this, this tremendous breakfast. I mean, the food like I've never tasted before. It was it was just so unusual and good good tasting. You know, you'd go out of there. Well, I would should say you felt like you rolled out of there. Uh, to go on about your day. Um, <laughs> but the only thing that kind of bothered me was that the, the host, he really liked to talk. And so it was kind of hard if you were on a schedule. It was kind of hard to get away from him, you know. But that's okay. That's okay, too. There we go. There's a little more dark inside of here. And... trying a different color today that I haven't used before. Um, a friend of mine told me to try it, and so I'm trying it. Not completely sold yet, 
but I'm trying it. I think I better lighten up this edge a little bit so that that shows better. But this is darker over here. There we go. Those are some crooked windows, aren't they? <laughs> oh, well, you know, we can fix those things. As long as we have paint, we can fix. Okay, now up in here, we have some really uh, dark darks. That the is underneath the um, the reds of the tree. And notice how I don't like to change my brush too often. You know, when I was teaching, I always used to tell my students, you know, have a different brush for each color. But for myself, I just find that that just slows me down. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I know it's not good to have all your paint all muddy together, but oh well. It's the way I do it. Okay, now we've got some brighter stuff coming right in here. You notice how I'm kind of leaving this blank for that big red shape there. And let's see, there's a little bit of a brighter green right in, coming down right in here, right underneath there. There's some. Oh, I see. Okay. There's tree trunks here. So we'll make us a little bit of a more of a lavenderish purple. And we'll put those tree trunks in. And we'll come back over and fix it with some bright yellow. Okay, I don't want to do too much finish in there. I do see a little red right there. Alrighty, I don't want to get too carried away with a spot. I'm putting a little bit of green underneath here and it's coming down. And then when I come back over this one, we'll really brighten that up and give it lots of oomph. Right now, I think I'll do the windows. A big window right there. We should have a, a shadow coming under here. There we go. And then 
We have some little dark in here in the windows. Now these windows over here, they're pretty dark because they're in the shadow. There we go. Okay, now then I want this shadow to echo that. So I'll take my bigger brush and do that. And that's coming right from behind this tree here. Get a little more blue in it. So anyway, if you're ever in Wisconsin and you want to see a really beautiful, beautiful place, you'll want to go to um, Bayfield. It's enchanting. It's kind of on a, built on a hill and, well, it's very hilly in that area. And as you walk down, I mean, as you look down the main street, then it just dead ends right into the Lake Superior. Lake Superior is very cold as a rule. I don't think too many people swim there. Okay. We've got a little bit of light right in front here that I want to get in. Okay. Now I'm going to take my wipeout tool and I want to suggest that white trim there. And I'll probably leave this for later. This is coming down like this. And it's kind of dark behind here. And this is coming around here. There is a bush or something there. Okay. A little touch of white right in here. That's important because that's where that highlight that's where our focal area is there. The more I play with it, the messier it gets. So we'll just have to clean it up. What was I saying about not using many brushes? I see I've got lots of them going now. There we go. I want that even brighter and hotter right there on that corner. That's really important around that window that that is super, super bright and hot. Okay. Now then we have the little awning and it's pretty white too maybe with a little blue in it have you ever been to some place where you just felt like oh gosh i wish i could live here that's how i felt when i was there i didn't want to come home of course, I'm kind of like that wherever I go, wherever. I'm, I think I'm a gypsy. I have a gypsy soul. And wherever I go and lay my head, that can be home to me. I 
Oh, we're dragging in some of that red, but that's okay. It gives us a little shadow. And then we'll put a little highlight of, of the white on top to kind of perk it up there. Maybe a touch more. Who says we can't use thick paint? There. I think I'd like to clean this up a little bit. This is kind of bothering me. All right, maybe that is better. Okay. Let's see. Now this underneath here, um, that door is dark right there. And then there's <clears throat> the red again. Alrighty, dark under there and red. This is very, very dark back here. I'll put those little white um, poles here that are holding this sign. I'll do that later. I just want this to have a chance to sit up a little bit before I... Some of these things on this painting because it's a rather... Um, busy painting and has a lot going on. I may have to just wait and finish in my home studio and then show you the, the finished results on our next program. I do hope you watch, try to watch the programs in order because when um, I finish, when I work on a painting on one segment, if you watch the next segment, then you'll be able to see how that painting was completed if I had anything to do to it or not. So it is kind of important if you have the opportunity, depending upon how your station uh, airs the program, uh, it, it is important for you to try to watch them in, um, in an, um, you know, one after another in the same way that I, that I am, am taping them for you. Uh, I'm very proud to say that um, I found out at my last episode that uh, the show, uh, my show is being downloaded in um, about 45 states now. Well, maybe not, maybe 35 states, about 35 states. And it's nearing the 800 download so that means that there's 90 or more cities uh, in these 35 or 40 states that are seeing the program and this makes me feel absolutely wonderful I, I, I love the fact that I'm able to come into your home and spend this time with you and share, share my gift with you, um, the, the gift of, of, of my painting. You know, it, it's, it means everything to me that you are able to, to watch this and, and enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you like to see the things come to pass, how they, how they materialize on the, out of the end of my brush. Now you can see right in here, we're gonna put just, just, you know, some of these things I'm doing now because I want to show you what's gonna happen when I do something here. I want to show you how uh, uh, an area is gonna sing when I um, when I bring it to life a little bit, 
I can't bring it to life all over, but I, I want you to be able to see in different areas what that is going to look like. Okay. Oh, I just got the 15 minute sign. Where is the time going today? I'm a slowpoke, I think, today. Guess I better just start concentrating on getting this mast in here. No, I don't care. I'm going to put a little bit of highlights on this back here so you can see what that would look like. And then behind this tree, we have a green tree. So we're going to mask that in. And that's all green back in there. This is a darker green here. And a little brighter. Okay, that little house there seems to be kind of a gray color. And the front will make a little bit brighter. And that's a little cooler on this on this side. Okay. A little door in there will just suggest it. Okay, let me see here. I'll get a big brush and get some of the driveway in there so we can get more canvas covered and see how we're doing here. Kind of a violet driveway there again in the red tones. Now you can see how I'm really kicking it. I have to get busy here and get, get something on this for you. I can't leave you with, with, um, with it looking like this. And I just got the 10 minute sign. I don't know where the time went today. I really don't. You know, I, I enjoy, I enjoy this so much. I enjoy being with you, being able to talk and share my experiences, share my travels with you so much that I guess I should have talked less and painted faster, but oh well. <laughs> Here we go again with the big brush. All right. Now, let's see here. Um, I want to get my tree in there. 
That's kind of important. This tree right here. And it's coming up and it's coming out and it's going that way, okay. And it needs more color. And it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's what all that red is going to be on. All right, now over here, we have a couple of very dark trees. So they are going to be, this one is coming right down here. And this one is in here, and he's quite dark. Quite, quite dark. And we're going to make him just a little bit bigger because the thing that you don't understand, or a lot of people don't understand, maybe you do, but a lot of people don't understand is that when you um, paint from a photograph rather than life, um, everything is smaller and because the photograph makes things go back. And so it, it, it's smaller. Um, this over here, I'm just going to make all in, in the trees in the reds and dark reds all back in here. I'm just going to let this just be all tree. I don't, I don't want a bunch of houses. I don't want it to look like a street. I'm just going to make it look like this. And then I want to cover this shadow right here. And that's coming right in there and across here. And it's coming out in here. All righty, let's see here. We have lots of golds in here too. So we're going to have a little bit of gold coming out. A little lighter yellow back in here. I keep watching that cameraman. I know any minute he's going to say five minutes and then I'm going to think, oh, oh my goodness. All righty, let's see here. Okay, I think we need to bring the shadow up a little bit. And there, I see some red in the shadow. Yeah, there's lots of red because the, the leaves have fallen. And so they're all over the ground down here, too. And the shadow's coming down over here, too. All right. And back over in there. This is actually much lighter back in here. And let me see, there's a dark on this little house tree that's right in front of this little house right here. Now I'm going to have to really do some serious work on this when I take this back to the studio with me. Um, but I, I do hope that you can see where I'm going with it. And um, let me just quickly block in some reds down in here and over in here. Now this is, a, you know, this isn't finished. This is just trying to give you an idea of what we're going to have when we get it the way we want it. Woohoo, I just shouldn't have used that yellow, huh? Oh well, that's okay. We'll pick a little bit of that up, put it someplace else, back of it over here. Okay. And then of course we have um, this area right in here that's coming up like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, you know, this is dual time. It's 
between me and the clock at this moment. I'm going to have to put some branches on this. But I think I did get the canvas covered at least. That's good. We'll put some little red in here. Maybe some more greens right up in here. Okay, we're down to four minutes. Four minutes and counting to yellow. Boom, boom. All right, let's pop this out here a little bit. Get a little bit of yellow in there. Okay. And we want a little bit of dark on the side of this tree. Couple branches coming. Oops, little branches coming. Well, I guess I can't do those right now. Okay. I do want a little bit of yellow right in there. Come on now, be nice to me. Be nice to me. Okay. <laughs> well, like I said at the beginning, it's a 50%, 50 percent, 50, 50 percent chance, mess or a masterpiece. And I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder, right? I think it's redeemable. I truly do. I think this is redeemable. We are going to be able to fix this. And the next time you watch the show, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be very nice because this was a beautiful setting and a beautiful time in Bayfield, Wisconsin. And I want you to be sure and catch me next time. Um, I think next time we're going to go in from fall into winter. What do you think? Hey, you've been watching Kitty Lynn Klish with Painting Journeys. Be sure and catch us next time. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.